Hello and welcome to Theme Parks and Attractions. Today I'm in Bournemouth and today I'm going to be visiting Oceanarium. They've kindly invited me down to check out what's inside there and what's on offer. So I'm going to get in there, have a little look around and take you with me. Now I've never been inside there before so it's all new to me. Uh, so bear with me as we look around. Let's get in there. But just before we get in there, if you're wondering where Oceanarium is located in Bournemouth, it's right by the promenade just over here. Obviously you've got the Bournemouth Pier where you've got lots of various things to do on the pier. Obviously you've got a zip line over there, you've got the beach over here. So yeah, it's in a perfect location. Let's get in there and see what Oceanarium has to offer. Now as you walk into Oceanarium, you can see over here you've got daily feeding times just over here. You've got otters at 11, penguins at 12, uh, you've got the ocean tank there and yeah, penguins at half three as well. So I'm looking forward to getting in there and checking some stuff out. And just like most sea life centres, Oceanarium has a nice little fish tank just here. We've got lots of fish in there, this looks really good as well, all lit up really well. Hundreds of fish in there. Now I've just come from the lift just over here, if you walk out just over here you've got a little map of this place, you've got obviously the ground floor, you've got Otto Oasis, you've got Shark Wreck Reef, yeah there's lots of things here um, and obviously this is the map of everything and I'm going to take you around right now. And obviously when you come outside the lift you're greeted by this massive turtle over there, he's really nice just over there. Yeah, it's lovely and warm in here. I had to take my coat off because it's lovely and warm. So if you want to get out of the cold, then come in here. Lovely and warm. Got Mr. Turtle. Now, another thing to note, if you look just down there also, there's a tunnel down there as well. You've got a stingray just down there as well. Uh, yeah, there's a tunnel in there. You just walk along there. So I'm going to check that out a little bit later as well. And there's also lots of little tanks in here to have a look explore around as well. Sure. I live at the bottom of the sea. You might not see me. Now just like a lot of aquariums you've got these windows where you can look in, various fish in there, look at him over there just swimming around and you've got a couple more just down the bottom there. Now you've got to appreciate the theming in here as well, this is a side little door obviously it's a little storage space for the uh, staff members in here but yeah this is nicely themed just over here. Now you've also got Crocodile Rock just over here where there's various crocodiles in here. You can't really see a lot in there because obviously the sun's shining in, reflecting a lot. Um, but yeah, it should be in the water just over there. Obviously you've got a tank, obviously it's very reflective. What with the sun, as I've just said, you've got waterfalls in there. There we go. So if you like crocodiles, come down to Crocodile Rock. Yeah, I couldn't actually see the crocodiles in there though. Uh, I'm not too sure if the light covered them or whether they just weren't in there at the moment. Just made my way outside to the outside section now with lots of penguins in here and I'll show you those right now. Now it's not just the penguins in here, you've also got some birds up there you can see just over there. And there we go, they're just having a little swim around. And just on the walls over it tells you about all of the penguins here. Obviously you've got Chili, Zorro, Cobble Pot, that's an interesting name. You've got lots of them around here, so there's so many different ones giving you details as well where they came from. For instance, this one comes from Holland, born in 2002. Yeah, it's really filtered out in here now. It was really busy a few minutes ago, but everyone's gone out, so it's nice and relaxing now. Now, if you're looking for a spot of lunch while you're in this penguin bit, you've got a nice little cafe over there. I'm going over there towards you now, so I'll show you what it's like and what's available in there. Yeah, the cafe that I'm going to show you is just over there. Obviously, you get a view of the penguins, so it's a lovely view. And also, you get a view of the beach just over there as well. So it's a really nice location. I'm not going to be eating in there myself today. Um, I've already had something uh, for lunch. But yeah, I'm just going to show you. Obviously, you've got the penguins just down there. And they've gone underwater. So let's get in the cafe and I'll show you what's in there right now. And here we go, just in the cafe seating area. Look, this is your view. Obviously, you can either sit outside if the weather's nice or you can sit inside in. What a view it is too. You've got the beach just out there. And just over there, you can look at the penguins. I'll show you the menu just over here right now. Now, what they do have on the menu is paninis, jacket potatoes. You've got sandwiches and snacks there. Sandwiches, $4.95 or $6.50 for the meal deal there. You've got soft drinks, hot drinks. Obviously, you can get a latte for $3.30, $3.60 or $3.90 for the lodge. And yeah, as I was saying, what a view that is. Just looking out there. Well, you've got the penguins on the other side. Let's get around and see what else is available here.
and obviously I've just come back out of the cafe area, just walking out here, back towards the turtles, and there's a show going on just over here right now. Now, this is done for a number of reasons. Our world with an animal of Karen's size, and we do actually have to use a crane to take her out on our place, which touches just over there with that big metal thing that's kind of just screwed into the door. Now, this target makes it pretty easy to get her in the net. We just have to put the target in front of it, and she'll simply swim in. Now, anyway, I've showed you the turtle quite a few times, so let's get around and see what else is here. Obviously, you've got lots of tanks around here. I'll show you those now. Now we're just in the top section right now and just over here there's a lizard sitting there enjoying himself in the nice and warm. And because you like turtles so much there's another one just over here. Just moved into the otter section now and look at him just over there. There we go, give you a bit of a zoom in. Mr. Ra. And you've even got a waterfall in this tank just over here. Obviously the otters come down here swim underwater, there he goes there. Uh, he's gone just like that. They're, yeah, they're really quite fast in there as well. So there we go. That was the otter tank. Now, as you exit Otter Oasis, just over here, you're greeted by a huge tank. You've got lots of fish over here. You're swimming around. Yeah, there are lots of them in here. They've actually moved around the other side. There's another one just over here, and this is a really nice section. Obviously, they're swimming around. It's a nice huge tank. And yeah, it goes all the way around. So I'm gonna get around there in a minute and have a look from a different angle. Yeah, I love the way this tank just goes all the way around, giving you great views all the way around the tank. Just a quick note, if you do come at the weekend, it does get very busy in here, so there's not a lot of room to move around. Obviously you've got push chairs in here, lots of people in here. And yeah, if you want a more relaxed experience, then come during the week. Just moved out of the tank now and you've got the uh, iguana just sitting over there. Having a little relax. Not a care in the world. I'll tell you what, it's really lovely and warm in here. I'm just enjoying being out in the cold, having a little relax. And I'm going to get down to the main tunnel now and show you what's down there. See you down there. And here we go, we've made it to the tunnel. You got the huge stingray just up there. There we go, there's his face. There we go. Yeah, it's quite busy in here, so just give you a little walk around, keep you on to the end. Obviously, he's swimming around there. Got a small little shark just swimming around. And as I was saying up there, obviously you get the view down from up there as I did before. And now I'm in the tunnel, which was underneath. Look at him just hiding just over there. There we go. Keep you walking around to the end of the tunnel, why not? There we go, it's nice and light in here as well. But as I was saying, if you want a little bit more relaxed time coming here during the week and then you won't get lots of people around and having to stop all the time. But that goes without saying with any tourist attraction really, doesn't it? There we go, let's walk you to the end. Yeah, you've got some nice little bits of theming in there as well as you get in most tanks as well. You've got that just over there, a little shipwreck section there. Some more sharks. And there we go, that's about it. Not the mass, not, you wouldn't expect this place to have a massive tank, but yeah, what they do offer in there is really good. There we go, it's the tank. Right, you've seen the tank, let's get around and see what else there is. Now, as you come out from the tank, there's lots of play equipment in here for the kids. You don't usually get that from an aquarium, but they've got it in here if you want to take the kids in there. And now we've entered Abyss. This is a darkened section now. You've got all the lighting in here, and yeah, it's very dark in here. As you can see, you've got the tanks in here with the blue lighting in it. Got projections on the wall just up here. What else have we got? Another tank over here. This looks quite nice. You've got the fish swimming around. Yeah, the blue really makes it in here. It makes really makes the room. So I was just looking at that projection map and that looks really good on the water. Got another little tank over here and that was the dark section. Let's take you out there and see what's out there now. You can't go wrong with a bit of projection mapping can you? And just after the projection mapping you come in here and this looks quite nice. You got another little tank just down there. Got a screen here. I'm not sure, not sure what this is showing. Obviously some underwater stuff there. Got an underground sign just up there. That's quite nice. And then the other side of the big tank, just over here. Obviously you've got the shipwreck, lots of fish. That's really nice though, is that shipwreck. I mean, they've done a good job with that, they have. You've got some more little sharks just like that. And let's move on, just over here. What else we got? St Paul's Station. 
and there we go. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the theme in there. You've got obviously the screens, the underground, all the fish and all of the shipwreck in the background there. It looks really good, as I was saying. Let's move on to the next section that I've just showed you around. And I'll come back in here to show you this. Now, just like an EC Life Centre, they've got one of these where you can look down, look at the fish, look at the stingrays. Obviously, Oceanarium is not a Sea Life Centre though. Just a quick note there. But yeah, they're pretty much the same anyway. You've got the stingrays swimming around just over there. You've got the waterfalls. And you'll see these in most Sea Life Centres. I mean, they're completely the same. Obviously, Blackpool's a little bit different. You've got a bit more theme in there. Apart from that, a lot of these are the same. And that is Oceanarium. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the gift shop now and show you what's in there. And starting off the merch store, you can get yourself a nice little penguin for $6.99. Or if you don't want a small penguin, you can get yourself a big one for $17.99. And also, if you're not a fan of penguins, you've got various turtles, sharks, and lots of other things. Let's move on. More penguin merchandise. The Oceanarium branded penguin, he's quite nice for $13.99. Quite like him. Get yourself a shark snow globe for $6.50. Here we go, something a little bit different now. If you're looking for something for your bathroom, you can get yourself some various seashells just over here, various prices. These are $1.99 each. We've got the big ones up here, and they are $4.99. Now on the penguin topic, you can actually adopt a penguin here and that is $24.99, it's a nice thing to do. And what you get for that $24.99 is a fact sheet, key ring, welcome letter, certificate, magnet and cuddly plush. Not a bad deal at all. Now if you're looking for something a bit more educational, there's lots of books down here. Obviously you've got a penguin book out there, I've been going on about the penguins quite a lot. You've got other things though as well. You've got a crab book up there, it's a little bit different. Yeah, various prices, I'm not going to show you the prices of these because they're very price. Now there is a section here that's made from recycled bottles and I'm going to show you what's available right now. Yeah, I had to put this section in because it's sunk a little bit different. You don't usually see something like this, but as I was saying, it's made from recycled bottles, which is really good, obviously good for the environment, and there's some really good stuff here. Obviously, you've got some cuddly toys. You've got this. This is an organic as well. There's it same down there. You've got some turtles down there. And this boat here looks quite nice as well. And there we go. And finally, lastly, on this merch tour, if you want to get a drink, want to get an ice cream, want to get some sweets, there's lots of pick and mix in here too. Let's get outside and wrap this vlog up. Just make my way out now. There's a nice little cafe section there, and I'll show you what's in front of me now. Yeah, right by reception is the cafe inn. You've got lots of sausage rolls, pasties, you've got cakes, things like that. You've got some hot snacks just up there as well. And on there they do breakfasters, they're six pound each for a bacon and sausage sandwich. You've got jacket potatoes, chunky chips for 3.20, cheesy chips for 3.70, and lots of kids meals. And the kids meals are actually 5.95 as well. Just thought I'd show you that. Obviously I showed you a little bit uh, food wise earlier, but the actual booth up there was closed at the time. So this is what you have to come to when the booth's closed. And obviously you get some great views out to the beach out there as well. And that was Oceanarium just behind me there. Uh, yeah, what did I think of the visit? I really enjoyed myself in there. I mean, a lot of those sea life type centres, my hair's going absolutely everywhere at the moment. Obviously it's a little bit breezy. Yeah, um, a lot of those aquariums, sea life centres, a lot of them are the same. Um, Oceanarium is slightly different. You've got lots of otters in there, penguins loads of different fish and there's loads of different tanks obviously you get fish in all sea life centers but yeah it's really good in there um obviously i came on a saturday today so it's quite busy in there so if you want something a bit more chilled a bit more relaxed i suggest coming during the week but that's the same with anywhere yeah i mean even the cafe in there looks really decent i mean it's well priced it's nothing like really too over the top to be honest price wise so yeah if you're looking for something to eat go in the cafe as well nice little gift shop in there as with all places as well if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. My subscribers have been going up lately, so I really do appreciate each and every one of you. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, just click that subscribe, it's free to do. And leave me a comment. Have you visited Oceanarium in the past? Will you be visiting in the future? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next theme parks and attractions video. See you later, Oceanarium. Just going to say, see you last time. See you soon.